Final Mouse just released something crazy. This is going to be in the next G Pro X. So it's called the Ultralight X. This is a new mouse that they released. I'm going to link a video in the description for the trailer. If the claims that they made are true, it's going to be insane. So it weighs only 30 grams and has 8 kilohertz. It's already over for the mouse industry here. This is the new G Pro X. This is, this is the wooting of the mouse industry. So it's made out of carbon fiber at 30 grams of weight. It is more robust than the magnesium composite. So it comes in three sizes and they named it cheetah, lion and tiger. You can look at the measurements here. 300 microseconds, which is 0 0.3 milliseconds. So apparently the click is going to be very, very responsive, but we have to fill it out for ourselves. This receiver quite interestingly shows the charge of the mouse with the RGB. So also they have a new Pixart sensor with motion sync. I will come to that later. I will explain it in a second for those of you who don't know. Apparently it goes up to two months of, without needing charge, depending on the polling rate. Let's get to the software. Just DPI, obviously polling rate, normal, but now this, this is straight up fire. LOD, you can adjust the LOD. For example, with the G Pro X, you cannot do that. As well as motion sync and tech snap. So tech snap is angle snapping, that when you aim, Vertical, it, your your mouse is like very, very linear movement. Whereas with the normal mouse, it's not like very linear. It's, but I don't really like it to be honest, but some people use it. So some people say it takes whatever nonsense. So when you move your mouse, it's going to be much more linear. So that's what tech snap is. And motion sync is a very interesting thing. Motion sync actually makes that your mouse is much more accurate. Maybe you have already seen this from Razer. It makes the movement smooth for it to be much more accurate. Some might say it doesn't really make a difference. I disagree. I'm going to link a video in the description explaining motion sync. And now let's come to the conclusion. Guess how much this mouse costs? Just 500, okay. <laughs> Around $190. Keep in mind, G Pro X is 100, about around 100. And Final Mouse is a premium mouse company so that's gonna be insane imagine second hand it could be priced at the same amount that the g pro x is priced so you could get like an insane mouse for the price of a g pro x so uh, i i think they're gonna dominate the market to be honest with this one if they do it right it's going to be crazy